Another violent weekend in Macon, including the deadly shooting of a security guard at a business on Panon Avenue. The sheriff's office says he is Jermaine Stewart, who worked at the Rodeo Bar and Grill restaurant. Jessica Cha shares more about what happened. The sheriff's office says that the problem started when staff asked several people to leave the bar around 430 in the morning. Someone started shooting and security guard Jermaine Stewart was shot in the head. People in the neighborhood are saying that they're concerned. So I'm 75 years old and I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. Marianne Miller says she's lived in Macon her whole life. She says too many youths have guns these days and there are consequences. I feel real bad about it because they took a man away from his family and uh, he deserved to live. I think it's really sad. There's been a lot of shooting going on. Young black men getting killed due to whatever reason, gang banging and everything. Asia Cheney works near Pionono Avenue and she's been in the rodeo bar and grill before. It is a club, so you know you have drinking going on, things like that. It's really surprising, but it's kind of not surprising. It's, it usually happens a lot. So We're part of the community, too. We want it to stop as well. Shattered glass can be seen on the pavement as Major Brad Wolf says stray bullets hit nearby businesses. He says they get called out to the rodeo often, 13 times this year already. From aggravated assaults to entering autos to hit and run accidents. I mean, it's just a wide variety of different calls we've had there at the rodeo this year. Wolf says the rodeo is shut down for now for violating a county ordinance that requires working security cameras that can record. It's a very critical tool in the investigation to have that video evidence that shows exactly what occurred and who was present. It's just sad and unfortunate that this gentleman was trying to do his job as security at the bar and, and he lost his life for it. Now Wolf says it's up to the owners to get their cameras fixed. In Macon, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. Major Wolf also suggests when businesses have problems with customers like this, they should call law enforcement as soon as possible.